Hi Intercoast here and today's 80s kid video is all about Thundercats. So, yeah, Thundercat figures, and um, here's the box I've got with all my figures in there. Now, Thundercats was a cartoon I used to watch as a kid. Uh, I did collect a few of the figures. I think I had Lino, and my brother had a figure as well. I can't remember what it was. It might have been Tigra. Uh, but yeah, I was more a He-Man figure collector, but I did watch the cartoon a lot and I was really into Thundercats, but I think the figures were actually quite expensive back in the day. Uh, I remember the uh, Lino one that I got had a bit you plug into the back and the, the eyes lit up um, and you could wear that as a ring and it came with a sword and that was pretty much it for my, Thunder Fat, for my Thundercat collection. Uh, but as an adult, uh, I started collecting the figures this, I've been collecting these for quite a few years now. I haven't bought any for a long time as the prices have gone up like everything does. I was going for a, a complete collection and there are a couple which I didn't get because the prices are just crazy on them. There's the Astral Moat Monster which goes for hundreds. There's uh, Stinger and Driller. I think those are the main ones I haven't got. Uh, I also haven't collected any of the sort of castles or the vehicles. I think I got one vehicle just because of space. I don't think they're really that expensive, but yeah, I just haven't got space to get all the vehicles. So, I haven't opened this up since I moved house, so I can't remember what's in here. So, let me, yeah, so the only vehicle I got is this thing. I think it's the only one I've got. And. I don't know the names for all of these to be honest and I think I only got this one because it came bundled with some figures when I bought it off eBay back in the day and it's got a trigger on the bottom which you use to grab things um, so yeah you have to reset it yourself and basically when you have a figure you can pick it up it grab it's meant to grab it and then you can no, that's not very good but it carries figures and you have somebody sat on the top which flies it around so yeah I won't go too much into that because like I said I don't really collect the figures but that's the one I've got it's got a little Thundercat symbol on there yeah so yeah that figure I first uh, I showed there this is quite a classic figure from a uh, character from the series this was Sly or sly. Uh, a lot of them got these triggers on the back which make their arms move. So they sort of go left and right with the arms. I think pretty much all of them do this. Uh, head moves, legs move. And uh, yeah, so that was sly. He was sort of like um, the, the captain of the baddies. He wasn't in charge but he was the one who ordered all the sort of other characters around so there was a lot of sly um, monsters in in the uh, series and they all had the same sort of animation but yeah sly 
Uh, let's get the baddies out, shall we? This one is Jackal Man, I believe. He's got control on his arm there. One arm, I think. Oh, unless that one's broken. So, yeah. Jackal Man. Really imagine, imaginative um, names. Uh, who else have we got? This guy is... I think he's called the Abominable Snowman. I might be wrong. Like I said, I don't know all the names. Um, oh, he's got one arm action. You know, we put the weapons in the hands there, look, and then you can hit things. Uh, I haven't got many of the weapons. I've got his hat, which goes on his helmet, goes on the front there. So, yeah, there's that guy. I think he was sort of like a neutral character, not bad or good. Now this is the guy who is the head of the evil guys and this is Mumra the Ever Living. Uh, he's meant to have like a, a hat, I don't know if I've got that anymore. And uh, he's also got his action, both arms. There you go. And he changes from, I have got the other character, if I can find him. Yeah, here we go. So this is, he starts off as, as like a, a mummy and he's like thousands of years old and then in the cartoon when he changes he uh, all lightning and everything and then he turns into this beast of a guy. Uh, I think this one you had to send off vouchers so when you bought figures you got like little vouchers and you collected so many you sent them off and you got him that I think either that or you got him with a play set or like a uh, vehicle or something but I don't think he actually came as a single fig, um, figure on his own uh, this guy also had the bit in the back where you plug it in and his eyes light up so he was the same as Lino so that's Mumra uh, here's my Lino and uh, apparently there's a few different versions of this, different sort of colour. See his like body colour, I think you can get different versions, different ages. And yeah, again on the back, that's where you plugged in the um, the ring and his eyes would light up. You can sort of see they would light up. There's his um, claw which attaches onto there and his sword arm moves. His sword is in there somewhere. So that's Lion-O. Then we've got another oh, classic good guy. This is Panthro. He's the one who drives the tank around, the front of the tank. And I've actually got his nunchucks, which have got like claws on the end of them. I don't know if you can see this. Like claw shape. And yeah, he's pretty cool. Wow. So yeah, he was one of my favourite characters. He was sort of like, um, I used to think he was sort of like Mr. T of the A-Team. Um, he was the one who drove the vehicles and uh, was just the tough guy. Um, another good guy, Tigra, because he was a tiger. There we go. And uh, he's got his symbol on the front. And the classic pet of the Thundercat called Snarf, 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 which was a, either a love or hate character. Um, he was quite annoying, but uh, yeah, he was good fun really. Snarf goes with a rhino. I don't know who this guy is, but I just think it's funny how his hands are made to put the like um he's got like a, a katana ninja sword type thing but if you <laughs> look at the way it's positioned i might let you make up your own mind what that looks like without the sword now uh, it's got oh it's got a button on the side what does that do let's see oh yeah it spins his body so he does that action which is a bit odd so um, 
Can't remember what his name is. Got this guy. Don't know his name. I will call him Ratso or Rator or something like that. Oh, wants to sit down. He can do the uh, disco move. Yeah, like I said, I don't know all their names. Uh, this is another one of the baddies who goes with Sly and Jackal Man. This is uh, is it just called Vulture Man? Yeah, they're quite detailed. And they're quite, they look quite good, really. If you look at them up close, he's got like a nice claw going on. Yeah, so the Vulture Man there. I did used to know all their names. Saber Tooth is this one, I think because he got a big tooth. So I don't know if he was born with that big tooth and his parents gave him the name Sabretooth or if uh, it was just a happy coincidence or a nickname. Yeah, these are big old cat, big old figures as well. If you, uh, the He-Man figures probably come up to about shoulder height. These were big beastie figures and they're quite well built. Unlike the, um, He-Man figures which had like elastic bands in the middle which snap. These seem to like, they don't go floppy really and um, yeah they're really well built. Um, they've got dates on them. Uh, 1985 I think that says on, on his feet. Uh, no idea who this guy is. I should call him bum face <laughs> and he's got the, the action on the back um, oh, found the sword from these swords is they tended to bend and a lot of them did this but yeah if you um, stick that in Rhino's hand and then he can attack with it so yeah, for some reason they all bent and they feel quite sort of hard plastic so I don't really want to bend it too much the other way and snap it. And Marmut, which was Mumra's dog. Marmut, <laughs> like Marmite. Uh, who's this guy? Is that Colonel Mustard? Uh, hello. Some sort of explorer guy, he came with a gun. It's funny, they had like, there'd be like one time characters in um, in the cartoon and then they'd make a figure out of it. Get a bit of the money. Uh, war or so. <laughs> I don't know. Some sort of war type character. Ah, the only, no, I was going to say it's the only female Thundercat, but there was uh, Wily Kit and Wily Cat, which were the twins, and one of those was female. But this is Chitara. She's the cheetah who runs really fast. And her, her little tag on the back is really tiny. And you can put, she has like a, a bow staff, which she has holding the hands and then it sort of just goes up and down a little bit uh, obviously because the figure is very slim I don't think they had the mechanics to fit inside to make the arms move up and down like the other ones but yeah one of my favorite figures that one's a good one we have these bears called I think they're burbles uh, was there two or three of them uh, Two by the look of it. I think I got. Uh, I'm sure there was a pink one as well, and I did have it. I don't know where that's gone. But you got this is the main one, and then whatever this guy's called, Blue Bull or something like that, I guess. And uh, yeah, these are sort of like Ewok mechanical type little creatures lived in the woods. Uh, uh, this is Jackal Man. Did I call this one Jackal Man? 
Don't know. That one's actually called Monkey and I think. This is Jackal Man. And uh, yeah, the monkey guy. And uh, Kit and Cat, which I said they are in here. Um, yeah. So there's two versions of this. You can get the the figures on their own, which came with like um, surfboard things. I don't think I got them, but they used to stand on like these flying boards and fly around. Um, I think this is Kit and this is Cat. Correct me if I'm wrong. The so one's a boy, one's a girl. They were like the young twins. But also, I don't know which characters they come with, but there was a couple of figures which came with Kit and Cat, which were just like standees. So these weren't sold separately. These were just added with another figure. And then I guess maybe in future they brought out the standalone figures which are actually bigger and they would have weapons and their their flying boards so yeah I've got the different versions of them uh, some weird demon devil type dude going on hi I'm guessing he's a baddie looks can be deceiving now these are weird ones, these, these came out sort of later and I think these were, um, what are they called? They were like oh, Vikings or Berserkers I think they were called and this has got a thing on the back which you squeeze together and it makes them spin so he's got a shield and a mace which I think has been repaired because it's got like a bit of string on it but yeah you, you squeeze it and it spins around and knocks people over so yeah quite a cool one but yeah these came later on in the um, toy line there's another one here it's funny how as they went on they tried to put gimmicks in uh, like this guy look at the size of that that fist is huge and what do you do yeah so you've got Oh, what do they do? I don't know. But you can make the fist go in and out. Uh, you've got like a lever there which moves it up and down. And yeah, sort of grips with that. Got a tiny little other arm, like, ah, my good hand, take my good hand. And a uh, big elephant man club foot there. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with this guy. I'll call him Lucky. Um, <laughs> really doesn't look like a Thundercat figure, but it is some sort of pirate guy. Very cartoony looking figure, that one. A uh, couple left. We got Jaga, which was Again, he was in the, in the first episode, I think, and I think they might have done some sort of, uh, you know, Obi-Wan used the horse type deal with this guy and he used to come back as a ghost or spirit and speak to lion -O. But yeah, it's quite a cool figure, quite a uh, rarer one. Uh, all these last four are pretty rare. Um, I think this one's called Bengal or Bengari or something like that. He's a Bengal tiger. Um, these ones were in a special episode, I can't remember which one it was. Um, same with this one, which is called Linkso, I think. <laughs> because he was a Lynx. Linkso. This red Leotard. Again, quite rare. And finally, um, Oh, I can't remember her name. Was it? I think it begins with a P. Oh, I can't remember. Again, she's got the same sort of deal as um, Chitara going on. Got the little lever at the back there. And, um, yeah, don't really do much. Just moves the arm a bit. Um, yeah, so her as well.
another female character. And then the only other bits I've got, I won't go too much of this, just some weapons. I've got gun, another gun. I've forgotten who these all go with. I've got the axe, uh, some sort of spear. I think that's the snowman. Big scythe thing, I think that's the devil thing. Ooh, got a, another sword, sword of omens. Another ball and chain. Uh, like a black sword. A whip, some sort of uh, knife, shield, a laser gun, and another mace. So yeah, there we go. That's all my Thundercat figures, which I have in my collection. I think that's pretty much sort of 90% of the figures. There are a few, like I said at the beginning, which are just stupid money. You're talking sort of £100 each type thing, which I'm not going to get. I'm not that fussed about getting the complete collection. And um, they're just display or to play with, really. I don't want them in the boxes. And I just think it's quite cool to have all those figures. It took me a long time to collect those. I sort of bought one every sort of month. Um, and over the years, I just picked them all up. And yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm not going to get rid of any of them. And um, I'd like to do the same with my He-Man figures, really. And maybe I will one day. But yeah, if you had any Thundercat figures, let me know. If I've got any of the names wrong, let me know. I think I've got pretty much half of the names wrong in there. Uh, and what do you remember about Thundercats? Thanks for watching the video. Remember to thumb it up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most importantly, leave comments. I love reading comments and I love getting back to everybody who takes the time to write one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.